गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप ऑल यूर सेफ इन योर हाउस सी डोंट गो आउट ऑफ योर हाउस अन नेसेसरली सैनिटाइज योर सेल्फ नो वन देन बी सेफ दिस इज मैक्स क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर वन अप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैट्रिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स लास्ट इयर वी लर्न ओनली फ्यू थिंग्स इन मैट्रिस See in this chapter we have total 8 exercise the last exercise is for one words and the remaining seven exercise we have the problems first two exercise or the basic things what we need to do it for the remaining five exercise the five exercise also solving the equations we have learned solving the equations from standard 9 onwards in 9th standard we might have learned how to solve an equation with the two variables that is x plus y equal to 6 and 2x plus 3y equal to 5 such a we, we might have did and 10th standard we have learned solving two equation two variable equations as well as solving three variable equations two methods we might have learned one is elimination method and another one is cross multiplication method but totally in this matrices we are going to learn different five methods all that we will learn later later before that to use that five methods in the exercise we need the basic things and that first one is in this adjoint of a adjoint of the matrix we have we need to find it out to find out adjoint we need cofactor to find out see to find out adjoint we need cofactor of a matrix to find out cofactor we need minor of a matrix we need minor of a matrix so first we will find it out we will learn how to find out minor minor we will denote it as m i j m i j it's very simple the minor of an element is obtained by deleting the row and column deleting the row and column if it is for a i j deleting the i th row and j th column the determinant of the matrix by deleting the i th row and j th column let me write a matrix a a square matrix capital a is equal to it's the general order we will write it see a 11 a 12 a 13 A two one, A two two, A two three, and A three one, A three two, A three three. So this is a normal matrix. To find out the minor of the first element, so that is that we will be denoting it as M one one. As I said, the first Deleting M I J means A I J deleting the I T row and J T column. So M one one. So deleting the first row and first column, the matrix that is determinant. But the values is there. A two two, A two three, A three two, and A three three. Now we have to. Simplify using the determinant method. How to simplify a two by two determinant? Product of the main diagonal minus product of the other diagonal. Main diagonal. Product of the main diagonal that is a two two into a three three minus a three two into a two three. It's very simple. Suppose I wanted to find it out. The element a three two that we will denote it as m three two. So I have to delete the corresponding column and the corresponding row. Remaining elements. Let's here it's a one one, a one three, 
A21, A23. That's A11, A13, A21, A23. How to find out the determinant of this? That's product of the main diagonal minus product of the other diagonal. That is A11 into A23 minus A21 into A13. It's very simple. Now, the minor we have learnt, now we should know how to find out the cofactor. This all you have learnt in grade 11, just I am um, recalling it. Okay. See, cofactor is a signed minor. Cofactor is a signed minor. Cofactor of capital A, that's we will denote it as A, I, J, signed minor minus 1 power i plus j into m i j that's why its definition is given as signed minor so the value will not be changed the simple alone will be changed either it may be plus or minus if it is for this first position a11 i equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 so here 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 the whole square that's again you will be getting it as plus 1 so let me write that a11 aij also so the first position we may get it as plus m11 the second position 1 2 1 plus 2 3 minus 1 power 3 we may get it as minus so here minus m12 so keep this position 1 3 1 plus 3 is 4 minus 1 power 4 we know that in the power of a minus if it is an even number we will be getting a positive value so this is automatically plus plus m 1 3 So automatically here it will be minus m21 plus m22 minus m23 here plus m31 minus m32 plus m33. If you wanted to do it in a very short method in order to uh, learn this plus minus I feel difficult. Okay, we have a short method that is a i j equal to. So, automatically you can give plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. It's not necessary here. Uh, need not to learn. Now, we can write the deleting the row and column. We can write the different, the 2 by 2 matrix. Then we can find out the determinant. Product of the main diagonal minus product of the the diagonal so easily we will be able to find it out the cofactor aij so till this we have learnt in grade 11th the new as i said the new thing is adjoint of a so how to find out adjoint of a it's very simple rga is equal to transpose of the cofactor matrix let's first find out the cofactor Transverse. Transverse is how to find out transverse? Writing the row as column and the column value as row. So that is AIJ cofactor of the matrix A, the whole transverse. It's very simple. AIJ, the whole transverse. Okay. So this is what adjoint of A. Before that, if it is a 2 by 2 matrix, I told you how to find out the determinant. Product of the main diagonal minus product of the other diagonal. If it is for 3 by 3 matrix, how to find out the determinant. That also we have learnt in get level. See, the same value matrix I am writing A is equal to A11 
ए वन टू ए वन थ्री ए टू वन ए टू टू ए टू थ्री एंड ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू ए थ्री थ्री दिस इज अ थ्री बै थ्री मैट्रिक्स ओनली फॉर अ स्क्वयर मैट्रिक्स वी विल बी एबल टू फैंड इट अवट अ डिटर्मेंट वैल्यू सी डिटर्मेंट ए डिटर्मेंट ए वन वन ए वन टू ए वन थ्री ए टू वन ए टू टू ए टू थ्री देन ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू एंड ए थ्री थ्री ओके दिस we know first using i am going to expand using the first row so a11 into we will be writing leaving the corresponding row and column the remaining values that is a22 a23 a32 and a33 when we write the second value that's minus a12 into leaving the corresponding row and column we will be getting a21 A, A two three, then A three one, and A three three. Then third value will be with the plus A one three into corresponding row and column will be eliminated. Eliminated the remaining A two one, A two two, and A three one, A three two. Right. See now you see this is actually a one one into this is what we learned that capital a one one cofactor of that and when we write the cofactor of the second value we know that plus minus plus so this minus and this value is for cofactor of a one two so plus a one two into capital a one two and plus a one three into capital a one three. So I wanted to tell you the relation between the cofactor and the entries or the elements of the matrix. See, when we multiply or uh, the product of the entries or elements and the corresponding cofactor, sum of the product of the corresponding element and cofactor gives the determinant value. See, this is determinant A. If we multiply with the different cofactors, then our answer will be zero. It's very just when we check it, we can able to find it or see the base same values. When it is with the same entries, it will be determinant A. And if it is with the different, for example, in place of A one one and capital A one two, then even if one value is changed, our answer will be equal to zero. Okay. Now we can move to the theorem. The first theorem, or the first theorem, says that for a square matrix capital Y of order n, y into r j equal to r j into y is equal to determinant y into i n. See, the proof says that y into r j is equal to R J into Y is equal to determinant Y into I N because we are talking about N orders. See, we will do with the N equal to three. It will be very simple. The same way we can take this matrix A one one, A one two, A one three, and those. Aj, we know that Aj is equal to. I have written Aj the whole transverse. Aj the whole transverse. So for this proof, okay. Let me write once again. A is equal to. You know that matrix. A one one, A one two, A one three, A two one, A two two, A two three, and A three one, A three two. A, three three. See, now cofactor or R G A. R G A is equal to we know that is 
transverse of cofactor right so first we need what is that cofactor matrix so what is that cofactor matrix let me find it out aij is equal to when we write that a11 a12 a13 and a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 this is what cofactor of aij for this matrix and what's our ga our ga is equal to aij the whole transverse how to transverse the row will be written as column and column will be written as row so when we re write the transverse of aij we will be getting a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 and a33 right this is what rj now our proof is we need to prove a into rj equal to rj into a is equal to determinant a into i n i is the identity matrix what is that identity matrix i is equal to we know that here we are going to do with three three by three matrix since we are doing with three by three we need i three unit matrix right this is 1001001 now we can write the proof so we need a into rga see a into rg so we know that a is a11 a12 a a13 a21 a22 a23 and a31 a32 a33 into rga rga is capital a11 a1 a21 a31 and here it is a12 a22 a32 and this is a13 a23 and a33 this is what we learned as rg now we need to multiply this how to expand this we know that matrix multiplication first row first column you see a11 into a11 plus a12 into capital a12 plus a13 into capital a13 we have learned that is determinant a when we multiply with the same number but at the same time check the second row a11 a21 a12 a22 so directly we can put the value as 0 and here a11 a31 a12 a32 a13 a33 almost the base all the three are different so i can put the value as 0 then second row a21 a11 a22 a12 directly that also 0 and check the second value a21 a21 plus a22 into a22 a23 into capital a23 now here the value was that is determinant a so the next one by even looking at the first value it's like i can put the value is equal to 0 then third a31 a11 0 a31 a21 that also 0 a31 a31 a32 a32 See, that's determinant K. Okay, from this we can able to take the determinant K outside. So the remaining will be matrix one zero 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 one zero 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 one. In short, if we have to write that is determinant K into this is identity matrix of third order I three.
same way we will be able to find it out that is rg a into a rg a into a e also you will be getting the same that is left for your homework can check it can give it as equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so you can write it from 1 and 2 you will be getting a into rg a is equal to rg a into a is equal to determinant a into i3 determinant a into i3 so this is the first theorem using this theorem we have some one example problem and one exercise problem to do so shall we do at least one problem today That's example 1.1. Example 1.1. If capital A is equal to matrix 8, minus 6, 2, minus 6, 7, minus 4, 2, minus 4 3 verify a into rg a is equal to rg a into a is equal to determinant a into i2 that is if a equal to verify a into rg a is equal to rg a into a is equal to determinant a into I3. Since it is with 3 by 3 matrix, they have given I3. Okay, solution. So, A into RGA. In order to find out uh, RGA, we need cofactor. See, very short, we can do it. AIJ cofactor. AIJ equal to, put it as little length one. Plus, as I said, put the symbol first. Plus, minus, plus then second row minus plus minus then plus minus plus okay close it now for the first value leave that corresponding row and corresponding column at the remaining value what is there 7 minus 4 minus 4 3 okay leave it then second leave that corresponding row and column what is there minus 6 minus 4 2 3 then the third value leave that row and column minus 6 7 2 minus 4 for the second value the same way leave the corresponding row and column we will be getting minus 6 2 minus 4 3 the middle one leave that corresponding row and column 8, 2, 2, 3. So, 8, 2, 2, 3. And for this element, leaving the row and column, 8 minus 6, 2 minus 4. Same way, we have to do it for this third row also. See, leaving the row and column, we will be getting minus 6, 2, 7, minus 4. Now, the middle one, leave that row and column, 8, 2, minus 6, minus 4. Here, yeah. the last value, 8, minus 6, minus 6, 7. Okay. Now we know that if it is a 2 by 2 matrix, we know to simplify. How to simplify it? Product of the main diagonal minus the other diagonal. See, 7 into 3, 21. Minus, minus into minus plus 4 into 4, 16. Right? Here already we have a minus. Okay. Minus 6 into 3, minus 18. Minus 2 into minus 4. 
it is minus 8. Already since we have a minus, minus into minus is plus 8. Here, yeah, minus into minus plus 6 into 4, 24, minus 2 into 7, 14. Now here, minus, minus 6 into 3, minus 18, minus, minus 4 into 2, minus 8. Since here we have a minus, it will become plus 8. 8 into 3, 24, minus 2 into 2, 4. Here, since we have a minus, I am going to write it inside the bracket. 8 into minus 4, minus 32, minus 2 into minus 6. We have that is minus 12. Since already we have a minus, minus into minus plus 2. Here, yeah. 24 minus 7 into 2 is 14. Minus 8 into minus 4. Minus 32 minus minus 6 into 2 minus 12. So it will become plus 12. Here 8 into 7. 56 minus 6 into minus into minus plus 6 into 6. 36. Now we can simplify and write the answer. That is 21 minus 16. 5. Minus 18 plus 8. That is minus 10. Since already one minus is there. That is plus 10. 24 minus 14 plus 10. Yeah. Minus 18 plus 8. We may get minus 10 already. Since minus is there outside. It will become plus 10. 24 minus 4 is plus 20. 32 minus 12. 20. Minus 20. Since already a minus is there. Minus into minus. Plus 20. 24 minus 14. 10. 32 minus. Minus 32 plus 12. 20. What 20? Minus 20. When a number is with minus and a plus. We have to subtract it and put greater number symbol. So here we will be getting minus 20. Since outside a minus is there. We will be getting plus 20. Here. 56 minus 36 is 20. This is A I J. But we need A G A. No, A G A is equal to A I J the whole transverse. So transverse of this matrix gives the A G. When we write transverse, what is there? 5, 10, 10. Then 10, 20, 20. Then the third row. 10, 20, 20. But here uh, both are same. Right? Even when you find out the transverse, we will be getting the same thing. Okay. Now we know the RGA. It's very simple to find out A into RGA. Actually, the matrix A is given in the question is 8 minus 6. 2, minus 6, 7, minus 4, 2, minus 4, 3. Into our GA we can write that is 5, 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 10, 20, 20. Now we should multiply and write the answer. Shall we multiply? 8 into 5, 40. Minus 6 into 10, minus 60. Plus 2 into 10 is 20. If you, if it is very small number, you can able to write it in as a single step. Since it's a big numbers, we will be writing it as well. Write it and simplify it. See, 40 minus 60. See, 2 into 10 plus 20. Okay. See, 8 into 10, 80. Minus 6 into 20, minus 120, plus 2 into 20, plus 40. The last value, first row, last column. See what we are getting? 8 into 10, 80. 
minus 6 into 20 minus 120 plus 40. Right? Okay. Now the second second row first column minus 6 into 5 minus 30 plus 7 into 10 plus 70 again minus 4 into 10 minus 40. Similar way you can <coughs> multiply. Matrix multiplication we have learned from grade 10 onwards. Now second row second column minus 6 into 10 minus 60 plus 140 and minus 80. 6 into minus 6 into 10 minus 60 plus 7 into 20 plus 140 then minus 4 into 20 is minus 80. Then 2 into 5 10 minus 4 into 10 minus 40 plus 3 into 10 plus 30. Okay. Then 2 into 10 20 minus 80 plus 60. Again the same value. 20 minus 80 plus 60. See almost all the values are 0. See 40 plus 20. 20 minus 60 0. 80 plus 40. 120 minus 120 0. 80 plus 40, 120 minus 120, 0. Minus 30, minus 40. This is minus 70 plus 70, 0. Same way here. Minus 140 plus 140, 0. Minus 140 plus 140, 0. See 40 minus... As I said, we have got all the values, 0. 0, 0, 0. This is our G into... Sorry, A into at G. So, we can keep it as equation number 1. The same way we need to find out at G into E. That part is left for you as homework. You can do and check it. That also we will be getting it as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? Equation number 2. The third value, in order to find out the third value, we need that determinant A. So, we will find it out determinant value. Determinant 8 minus 6, 2, minus 6, 7, minus 4, 2, minus 4, 3. Okay, shall we find it out? See, 8 into, leave that corresponding row and column, 7 into 3, 21, minus, minus into minus plus, 4 into 4, 16. Okay, now, when we write the second value, we will be giving minus, and moreover, here also we have the number as minus 6. Leave that row and column. Minus 6 into 3 minus 18. Here minus 2 into minus 4 minus 8. Since here we have a minus, it will become plus 8. The third value is plus 2 into. Leave that row and column. Minus into minus plus 6 into 4, 24. Minus 2 into 7 is 14. So 8 into 5. Minus into minus plus 6 into minus 18 plus 8. That is minus 10. Plus 2 into 24 minus 14 is 10. So this is 40 minus 60 plus 20. So 60 minus 60 our answer is 0. So if even if we find it out determinant A into I3. We have, since we have got 0 into any matrix, we will be getting 0. We can mark it as equation number 3. So, from 1, 2 and 3, we are getting A into at G A is equal to, at G A into A is equal to determinant A into I3. Okay. I hope you have all understood this problem. So, I, I would like to give a homework for you in exercise 1.1, problem number 6. Say exercise 1.1, problem number 6. Only one problem is given as homework. Do it. Thank you students. We can see, see you in the next class. Bye-bye.